everyone dash here again um, I recently posted a video on the stump bucket that I made uh, it's the video that uh, precedes this uh, it's gonna be in this corner or that corner one of the corners I'll put a link up there but um, anyway I had some comments from some viewers that wanted to see this thing in action and I haven't really used it fully yet this new one that I made but uh, I'm gonna try to put it to some tests today uh, try to dig a trench with it dig a hole and I made a claim that it was similar if not maybe a pretty useful backhoe alternative and so obviously there are some limitations and I want to hopefully demonstrate some of them today so stay tuned uh, behind us over here behind the tractor there's a tree a smaller one not a not a real big one um, that I'm gonna remove it's kind of dying and uh, I got some other ones right here that are in much better shape so I don't mind sacrificing a tree for the video but um, anyway, let's see what it does and uh, see what you think. What I noticed that might be a better method for digging a trench with this bucket is not so much to plow forward like I'm doing here in the video. This is my first time ever attempting to dig a trench with it, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. But I think if you dig down, almost like you're digging a hole and then make multiple scoops and keep going forward, I think that's much more effective. It'll also get deeper. The problem with this method is that the pallet fork frame also kind of acts like a plow, and what happens is it ends up pushing dirt back into the trench as you move forward so yeah, you're kind of not really getting anywhere it's loose you could scoop it out with a shovel or whatever but eh, still not as effective all right so here's my first attempt at ever digging a trench with this bucket i don't know how well you can see that but maybe not as ideal as a backhoe but you could lay a pipe in there if you wanted to and I didn't really try to dig it super deep but you can see there are some minor roots very small but uh, it was able to dig it and then I even back dragged with it a little bit because I was knocking some of my dirt back inside the trench so not a bad alternative uh, to a backhoe obviously it's you know I'm not saying it's as good as a backhoe but if you don't have the money for one, uh, this could help in a pinch. All right, I don't know how well you can see this, but from my angle here, it looks about 10, 11 inches deep, 
Um, you can get a lot deeper, obviously, if you really wanted to uh, get down. This is super soft, almost dusty, sandy, very loose uh, black dirt soil. We haven't had any rain here in like three weeks, so uh, this really isn't much of a challenge in terms of uh, pushing the tractor or the bucket, you know, the stump bucket to its limits, but you know, it's the only testing environment I got right now. So, All right, well, here's our sacrificial tree. Um, it's probably about, I don't know, maybe about 10 feet tall. It's not real big. Um, honestly, it really doesn't do it justice for uh, this stump bucket, but it's really the only tree that I have left to sacrifice. All the bigger ones I had already taken out, but uh, we'll see how it does. Um, just to show you and demonstrate how it works. Well, let's get started. That wasn't very hard. Um, it's got some decent roots on there. It only took three scoops for me. One on each side, one in the middle, and then kind of on that third, fourth scoop, I was able to lift the whole thing right out of there. So um, again, the soil is, is really, you know, quite brittle and soft. It's just so dry here, but um, you know, it ripped the roots pretty good. It's got a lot of power on that front end loader. And so you use all of its hydraulic power um, at least for the full capacity just to rip the, the roots out so um, as you can see it took me like what a minute two minutes maybe uh, to rip that out it was very quick didn't need a backhoe um, I spent 60 bucks to make the bucket and this is the result so for those of you that are interested in making one of these or buying one um, certain companies do sell them um, but beware that they may make you buy the pallet fork frame and maybe some other accessories just to use it. But uh, for this application, I think it works pretty well. I hope the viewers are satisfied. And um, I don't know, hope you can make something like this for yourself. All right, now let's see what kind of a hole it can dig. I also apologize if you're getting a lot of wind noise. It's super windy today, so please excuse me. But let's see what kind of hole it can dig. Um, obviously a backhoe can dig a much deeper hole just because it has more length and reach and so forth but I don't know let's see what this can do
All right, so this isn't a real big hole, but it sure as heck beats a shovel. That's kind of what this is really. It's basically a big spade shovel. Um, makes digging holes a lot easier. Uh, in my other video, I mentioned that I built a lean-to for my attachments and I dug the, the post holes with the stump bucket. You don't really have to buy a post hole digger unless you want to go you know really quite deep i was only concerned about going maybe two feet deep or whatever but anyway this right here you know is about yeah two feet deep it's 24 inches right there so you use the full length of the bucket um to get down in there and then kind of scoop it forward so i mean this is a decent size hole uh, you could dig a bigger hole probably much more I don't know, quicker, maybe even more efficiently with a backhoe. But if you, like I said, if you don't have one, one of these stump buckets could be a viable solution for you. Okay, so does it do 75% of what a backhoe can do? I don't know. Maybe I was a little bit generous on that claim, but the value that you get out of something like this um, compared to the expense of a backhoe um, is just tremendous. $60 is what it cost me material to make it. You'll need a welder, uh, something to cut the metal with. If you wanted to do it with an angle grinder, I'm sure you could probably get it done. I don't recommend it. I would recommend a plasma cutter or at least an oxyacetylene torch if, if you have access to one. Um, I'm sure you could take it to somewhere locally and uh, someone would be able to plasma cut the metal for you or whatever for a small fee. You don't have to invest in a um, cutting tool um, such as plasma cutter or whatever. But anyway, you saw what it can do. You can take out trees, it can take out some stumps, it can dig a hole, it can dig a trench. As good as a backhoe, I don't know, that's up to you, I guess. But for me, it works exactly for what I need it for. Um, I'm also able to dig some uh, post holes with it, so I don't really need a post hole digger, an auger. Um, though that would be nice, but this does the job in a pinch. So. I hope this is helpful. Uh, some of you viewers wanted to see it in action. I apologize I didn't uh, upload that on my last video, but I hope it's helpful. I hope you learned something and uh, stay tuned. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.